Over here in the south, we have our only Protoss player in the group, formerly known as Tester in Star Trek. Tester. <laughs> Don't interrupt me like that, Tester. <laughs> That's so, so rude. He is just out of line. And now, in the opposite starting location in the north, we have... Mojis Ta! There he is. He's not quite as good as Leon, that intro one. Yeah. He knew exactly where his hand was going to go. That's impressive. It is. To actually be that tough, that confident, to just say, you know what? It's her duty to hit my hand. Ooh. <laughs> That's the way Artosis rolls. That's he how just you puts that hand out there, man, and then he dodges if he feels you coming close. I've I've heard stories. Yeah. Well, so he nice quick scout is quite useful. Did you notice uh, that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But did you notice he actually sent the um, probe to the opposite starting location instead of the one close to him first? I did. That's and interesting. The only thing I can think is that might be to scout possible proxies or. Perhaps he has a build he wants to tailor to the further away spot. Yeah. And, or rather, a build that he wants to tailor to the closer spot. And if he scouts this anything other than right away, he's not going to be able to get into it. So. Yeah, he might have had some void yeah. rate build he was going to do no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen him do something like that. close. So, Trickster sees there's no gas. He keeps his probe alive for so, so long. And that's going to tell him, okay, this is a command center build. 99%. Oh. oh, my God. Nice Jukin Jukin and jive in there. Through the smoke, Tasteless. I know. That probe just dribbled the a probe basketball had to be under its floating bottom. <laughs> Doesn't even have hands. It has to hit it with its little probe wings. Can you know how hard that is, Tasteless, while you're flying easy. through the air? He had to hold his breath. He was going through smoke. He didn't yeah. have to burn his little probe eyes. No, he did not. Really impressive. Oh. Nice! Oh, my god. Engineering Bay, he knew he wanted to fast expand. Well, what this does is uh, it annoys Trickster first off. But let's say that you run into that now on the ladder, because this has just happened, and I haven't seen this before, actually, in this matchup in a situation like this. Uh, normally, you would have a unit already, but um, Trickster is trying to get really quick. Wow! That's a cool thing to do, but that's not what I suggest to you guys at home practicing because that's going to be very hard to defend. Use more Chrono Boost on your probes. There you go. You know, it's so funny. It never occurred to me to ever try that against uh, well, Protoss. <laughs> normally, Protoss will have a unit. You know, it seemed like they were... You, Trickster was trying to skimp a little bit and get an even quicker yeah. nexus because, hey, that one Marine isn't walking across Metalopolis to attack. You're fine. A couple more gates are going up. Now, I do wonder, because uh, I, can, I can guarantee you one thing, I don't think Trickster's encountered this. I do wonder if it was actually a good idea for him to make that nexus elsewhere. I mean, if Terran goes for a yeah. drop, are, are you going to be able to defend both those spots? Are you, Artosis? Yeah, are you? Know. It's it's hard to say. It's definitely going to be pretty hard. Now, he might go for something specifically because of putting his nexus there because let's say you go robo right you go try to go colossus this is going to be terrible for that okay drops are actually going to pick you apart but if you're like going to rush up to charge or perhaps even blink then maybe this is something that you can get away with i've not seen this as the answer quite yet so we will see now tricks are trying to sneak in with this pro he wants to confirm if there's an expansion there or not he does have a proxy pylon. He does have three gates. It's kind of a weird spot for a proxy pylon. Yeah. It's yeah. like the most obvious location, but, but also I the guess place he might that be going for Because it is so obvious. Mm, look at you being all smart and handsome and funny. Thank you. Tall and good at basketball. Now, yeah, he's just not going to scout it. Yeah, doesn't see it at all. Has no it's idea. Just, just out of the immediate scouting pattern of a, a Terran player that would want to find that. Well, and Trickster. I think he's actually going to go for some aggression mm, here. I don't think it's going to work, though. The second bunker is going to be pretty good against it, but he's going to hit right before that. He's going to need a Guardian Shield. Oh, beautiful oh, so trapping nice. those two. Awesome, awesome move there by Trickster. He needs but, to get those force fields yeah. up on the bunker. Oh, he gonna, totally screwed that up. Yeah, 
He just whipped it tasteless. Oh Not my god. Anything. Tricks right. are falling apart. Trickster is way being outclassed in this group. Yeah. Um, that's it's like, too bad, man, because that he actually, with those first few forces, I'm like, oh my god, he might break this because he just caught three Marines he shouldn't have. Yeah. And then everything went wrong, <laughs> as you guys saw at home. Well, it's like, you know, right now, Leung is break dancing, and, uh, you know, we have Top, he's like, basically, you know. He's doing the waltz. He's doing the waltz. We got another like, our other guy doing the tango, and right now, Trickster's like, showed up, and he's doing the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, oh... We'll see if he can maybe upgrade to the chicken dance in a moment here. Yeah, I don't know. Imagine that song as his soccer's keep running in bunkers. <laughs> and uh, he's just making more gateways right now. Well, I mean, this is, you know, he's, he's not, even though he bungled that pressure, that pressure wasn't something that should have killed anyways. So it's not like he's in a position that he can't win from. You know, yeah. He's, he's adding more gates. He's going up to six. He's getting his upgrades. He's getting blink before charge, which I is I don't know if I agree with that. Well, the one thing is, uh, if his opponent does go drops specifically, blink can at times be much better against drops than charge. You know, he can really punish. You can kill that, the dropship more point. often. And I think that's what he's afraid of right now. So he says, you know what? Blink first, then charge right after. And that's fine. I can't overly argue with that. Now, if Top were to unload everything and hit a timing before charge is done to attack, you know, stim, combat shields, concussive shells, a decent amount of marauders and medevacs, then, then, without not having charge would be a, a terrible travesty. Link it looks so like um, it looks like Top is just going to play a very conservative game. He's going to take hmm. a third base here. Going to try the macro style. See, Trickster showed up with the Macarena. He showed up with the Macro Arena. Uh, uh, I write my own jokes. <laughs> now, uh, the pylon is going to be picked off here. Should, no more Protoss presence on that today. That, actually. You should say that like John writes your jokes. Oh, that's good. Blame it on him. But most of my jokes are funny. Oh, uh, okay. I got gotcha. you. It's true. Don't want people thinking he's funny. So, yeah, he does start charge immediately after Blink is done. Really using and focusing his Chrono Boost on that. I like this. Just picking off what he can, just trying to one-shot Marines. Uh oh, you don't have oh, Blink yet, here. man. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jason? We've yeah. been here for a long time. Yeah. This has been a longer day. A Sorry, guys. Day, yeah. I'm pounding coffee in between each break. What is? How, how long has this actually been one of our longest days yet? It's five hours so far? I don't know what time it is, man. Sorry. I think it is. It's 11.58 in StarCraft 2 minutes on this game. <laughs> now... Meanwhile, Terran at just staying, you know, low tier. Got to get his Ghost Academy next. Sticking with infantry. Nice blink away. Got to be careful, though. If you lose a couple of those doing that, it wasn't worth it. Marines are cheap. Yeah, right, that's well, true. Here he goes. This is the frontal attack. Charge is just barely not done right now. If he just goes straight into it before Charge finishes. But it looks like Charge actually will finish. But where are your units, Trickster? Yeah, they're all out of position. He, he did. Like, he's waiting for Storm to upgrade, but it looks like it might finish just a little bit too late. He he's going to lose the Nexus. Shoot the Nexus down and then run for it right before the Templars can get there. If he books it out of there. Actually, Storm is just barely not done. Wow. Yeah. Trickster, where's your army, bro? What's going on, bro? What's up, bro -ham? And his army is coming up, but Trickster it was, it was is far actually away. a mess this game. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, you you have to be ready for things like that. He knew that the army was kind of almost halfway in between the map, and he elected to have all of his units way over in the main base. Which I mean, obviously, you don't want to be dropped, but at the same time, the amount of units he saw over there said, "Hey, if there is a drop, it's not going to be that big. It's going to be a frontal attack that hurts you." Well, Trickster is making two Nexus right now, going up to three base, so he's not actually out of it. He's got Psy Storm, a couple good Psy Storms, and all, all mistakes are forgotten. Now, um, it would not be um, too shocking if we had another timing attack here from top, or he might just expand again. Mm -hmm. Both are actually fairly reasonable. I'll have to read yeah. how, what, where um, you know, Trickster is trying to recover. Trickster actually... Trickster has a lot of charge lots. He has size storm. He has one one upgrades. Top has one one as well, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, but does Top have EMPs ready? He doesn't have any EMPs ready. 
Luckily for Top, he has made a planetary at his third base. Which, by the way, is just a perfect call against someone who took his first base as the third base location, because obviously they can't go Colossus. Really smart. But, um... Without EMP, Psystorm against this very Marine-heavy composition from Top. He's actually playing kind of Puma-style. A ton of Marines. Actually, now that I look into his main base, he has so many reactor barracks. They're all trying to make ghosts. What do you mean, tech light barracks? Yeah. So then... Now, um, we have the medevac over here just trying to do a little bit of drops here and there. It almost seems as though Trickster is actually preparing to try to stop the fourth base while he's trying to secure his two third bases, but mm. he might be out of position. Yeah, Trickster's a bit out of position right Trickster's now. Trickster's gone back and forth with that army a couple times. I could see him oh. doing it again. Lucky for him, uh, his opponent didn't go in through the back door. Might have been able to pick off the Nexus in that case. And here we go, Taste of Slaw. This will come down to oh. Psy Storms versus EMPs. Okay, and he's got a nice EMP there. Trickster has no observer with his army. These ghosts can actually kill the whole thing. Yep. And well, nice. Oh my god, those force fields. But Trixie's I already taking too much it's damage. It's actually not enough because once those zealots go away, everything in that army dies for Protoss. Very true. And, uh, well, I like the backup. These fresh reinforcements will be able to stop Top in his tracks. But Top has already done the damage he needs to do. He just needs to go home, heal up, get more energy. These zealots doing a great job with their charge trying to take out these ghosts. And, uh, yeah, he's doing a great job with these Marauders, just continuing to drop down here. Trickster really needs to get something going. Okay, good. I was just going to say, this guy, he's in need of a tech switch. He needs to switch over to Colossus. The whole ghost thing is not working for him all that well right this second. And he is making that robotics bay. May even want to think about observer speed against these cloaked ghosts. Something a lot of Protosses are neglecting. Yeah, that's one of those upgrades people really ought to be getting more of, especially considering this is a matchup where you don't make as many observers. Yeah. I mean, remember in Circuit exactly. 1, you have like, guy, guy could have like 10 observers. Yeah. It's like totally reasonable, but in this case, you're making other stuff out of that. All right. Uh, nice oh EMP, God, getting yeah. about half the army there. And Trickster engages for two seconds and turns around. The worst scenario you can possibly have. Ouch, and that's, well, that's even worse than that, so I guess I lied. Um, Trickster really is kind of falling apart this game. And now a double expand here from top. You know, Trickster has been so on the ropes this entire game. And, and well, he does have some side storms left over. Slicestorm goes off, barely hits. And nice Slicestorm's there. Does Trickster have enough to break through, though? Slicestorm's his own zealots to try to not have enough. And um, it does look like just barely, once again, will Top have enough to drive this Protoss army out of the game. Don't forget, guys, he's double expanding back at home, so he's going to have a lot of, uh, of well, he's just going to have a really strong economy. Even if he was to lose this battle, even if he lost all those medevacs and marauders. Whoops, he's not mining from the gold base, but... <laughs> now he is. He's, he's transferred, SV, transferred yeah. SVs. Well, Top right now is getting himself into a position that I don't see Trickster actually coming out of. Trickster does not have any Colossi. He's just kind of chilling with what he has. He's, he can't really get a fourth base up. And Top is expanding with planetaries. And if you don't have either a gigantic, really well-made army or Colossi, you can't attack into those. So we see Trickster throwing away a lot of units again. But he is warping in to the Terran base. Some Zealots. Of course, this will be cleaned up. It's not that hard to clean up. Probably just uses some snipes on him. I guess not. All right, now he's cloaked him. Yeah, that works too. Very nice there by uh, Top. Yeah, I, what Top's doing is he's played this very safe. He's just making sure that every, every engagement he has, he comes out on top. Look, man, to be totally frank, Trickster actually deserves to go down to the up and down matches. Yeah, his, With play his play like tonight this, has been non-stellar. <laughs> non-stellar, man. Non-stellar. Yeah, man. It's been totally non-stellar. Non-stellar. Um, 
Well, at this point, the ghosts are actually going to clean up, and we're going to see a GT from Trickster any time now. Uh, yeah. Well played by Top. Trickster, a little bit disappointing. Not quite the level I'm used to seeing him at. Well, I certainly expected more from Trickster here. Yeah, no, I thought he had a decent chance to make it out of this very hard group, but uh, certainly not with the way he's played. Everyone else has definitely played much better games than him tonight. Yeah, and this does mean we're going to have the rematch here between OGS Top and Alive. That's right. Going to be sick. Excited. GG. All right. So, here we are. Trickster goes the up and down. And rightfully so. Well, you know, uh, he's, he's going to have to practice a lot for that. Up and down. That's a slugfest, man. That's, you have to win a lot of games. A lot of great players there. It's much like MLG in that regard, which you'll be going to as well. He's going to have to win a lot of games versus a lot of good players. Hopefully this gives him some sort of perspective. A couple lessons maybe as well. When you, you scout know, with an observer, counter what you see instead of make what counters what they're doing. Yeah, uh, countered by what they're doing. Both games, he really disappointed uh, me, to say the very least. You know, even that initial attack uh, that he did mm. was just so poor. It was well, he messed that up. He could have done more damage than he should have yeah. when he got those nice force fields, and then he kind of botched it. So I'm like, okay, whatever on that. Uh, but then when he lost the Nexus, when he clearly his opponent was coming. It was know. pretty shocking. All right, guys, we have one more game today, and it's going to be between Alive and Top. We'll be back in five minutes, so don't go too far away. This is the GSL.